Hello and welcome to the Voice of Faith. May the Lord bless you wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're struggling with negative thoughts, evil thoughts, if you're watching me right now and you're depressed, suicidal, listen carefully, please. The Lord Jesus can help you. The Lord Jesus Christ can set you free from your suffering, from your depression, from all this oppression that you are going through right now. You can find help at the UCKG Help Center. Our doors are open today. It's Friday. We have deliverance service the whole day. And you can visit us today, any time of the day. We are at the Trade Square Building, 8th floor, here in Chen Sha Wan. Okay? Scan a QR code for more info. Check our timetable today, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. No problem is too complicated for the Lord. He can help you. All you need to do is to take a step of faith and come over to receive help to receive guide, all right? Sometimes people, they do not recognize they need help. And that's a big problem, big problem. If you do not recognize you need help, God cannot help you. If you do not recognize that you are lost, how can you be found? If you do not recognize that you are sad or depressed, how can you be happy? If you do not recognize that you are sick, how can you be healed? For example, for example, when a person is sick and they go to the doctor, the doctor will ask them, how are you? What are you feeling? If they say, I'm not feeling anything, you know, I'm not sick. So the doctor will say, so, what did you do? Why did you come here then? You are not sick. You are not feeling anything. So you can go home, right? The doctor will be unable to help you. So when we visit the doctor, we tell them, I'm sick. I'm not feeling well. And then you explain what you are going through. And the same is to find help. In God, we need to recognize our situation, our condition. We need to tell Him what we are going through. And I want to share with you a verse in the Bible that speaks well about that. The psalmist says, I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Look at that. The psalmist is saying, I have gone astray like a lost ship. Seek your servant. So the servant is speaking to the Lord. Seek your servant. Your servant is seeking you, in other words. For I do not forget your commandments. Okay, so he's the word of a servant of God. A servant of God that went astray like a lost ship. And he's recognizing, I went astray, I'm lost. I am lost. I'm your servant. I do not forget your commandments. I, I remember your word, but I am lost. And this is sincerity. The sincerity. You need to show to God. Even you are a servant of God. But if you are lost, you need to be sincere. And say, Lord, I'm lost. I go to church. I serve in a church. I'm a volunteer in a church. I participate in church activities. Or not. Perhaps you don't go to church at all. But. You are lost. You don't know what to do with your life. 
You don't know what to do about your future, your family, your relationship, whom to marry. You're totally lost. Your mind is confused. You went astray from, from the Lord. But deep inside of you, the word of God is there. You don't forget. You don't forget the word of God. Because one day, the word of God was planted in your heart. Is it true or not? And the word of God is there inside of you. But unfortunately, you've gone astray. And what should you do? Seek the Lord. They turn to Him. If you, number one, recognize that you are lost, as the psalmist says, I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant. If you seek the Lord, and you tell him, Lord, I've gone astray, I'm lost. Your word is still inside of me, but I don't have strength to return to you. I don't have strength to come back to your presence, to your house. So in that very moment that you recognize that, and you can do that right now while you're watching this program, God will give you the strength for you to return to him. And God is waiting for you, my friends. Don't think that God will not accept you. Don't think that God will reject you. No way. God is ready, ready and willing to accept you and to welcome you back. That's why the Lord Jesus illustrated that in the book of Luke, chapter 15. When he says here, But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. Let's celebrate. Let's be happy. For this son of mine, this son, oh sorry, for this, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. To be merry means to celebrate, to be happy. Look how powerful. This is the parable of the lost son, the prodigal son. He went astray. He was lost like a ship. Forgot the father. But one day he returned. When he returned, the father that represents God did not condemn him, did not curse him, did not slap him. The father said, oh, my friends, let's celebrate. Let's be merry. Let's celebrate. Put on him the best robe, the, the best clothing. Put a ring on him, on his hand, on his finger, which represents a covenant. Renew the covenant with God. Bring the best animal. Let's kill. Let's celebrate. Because it's like an offering. And let's, let's celebrate because the son of mine, he was lost and now he's found. And there was a celebration. There was a feast because his son was renewed, was revived, was saved. He was lost like a lost ship, but now he's found. And that's what will happen this weekend at the UCKG Help Center, Saturday and Sunday. We are going to have the Feast of the Reencounter with God. And you can reencounter the Lord Saturday at 10 a.m. and Sunday, 7 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. The Lord is waiting for you. His arms are wide open, ready to embrace you, to welcome you, and to feast, 
feast. Yes, you were lost. God is searching for you to find you. Join us. Everybody's welcome. Trade Square Building, 8th floor here in Changshaoan. Scan the QR code for more info or call us if you're interested. We cannot force you to return. You need to take this step. We are ready to welcome you. We are calling you. We are inviting you. The decision is yours. Make, a, make the decision and make the right decision to come back to the Father. And he will give you a new life, a new beginning. All right? Very well, my friends. We are also preparing ourselves for our annual mountain prayer. Our hiking will be on Friday, October 11th. Scan the QR code for more info if you want to join us in our mountain prayer 2024. Okay? Very well. We look forward to seeing you this weekend or in our next program. Invite your friends, your neighbors to join us in the Feast of the Reencounter with God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.